Hello everybody again. Um, this is going to do my next part of my um, complete Arrow collection. These are the um, Amore cases, the normal editions. Got some um, UK and um, some US in here as well. So I'll get straight down to it. First up, I've got this um, really cool Mario Bava, five dollars for an August moon. 52 pickup with a great Roy Schneider. One of my favourites, A Bay of Blood. Fantastic movie. Uh, Pistol for Ringo and The Return of Ringo. Yeah, these were good fun. All Ladies Do It. Tinto Brass movie. Animal Factory. Um, never heard of this one before and absolutely love it. I do um, love my prison movies, so I was chuffed with that. Audition, great film, Takashi Mikey. Baron Blood, that was good fun. Battle Royale, great movie. Got a couple of editions of that. The Amazing Big Trouble in Little China, and I absolutely love that artwork. Brilliant. Black Mama, White Mama, another one with amazing artwork there. Black Sabbath. Blind Woman's Curse, which I must admit I still haven't got around to watching. Blood and Black Lace, another cool barber film. Blood Feast, good fun. The brilliant blowout. Brian De Palma. John Travolta's great in that. Bound, really cool film. The absolutely amazing Branded to Kill. This is an absolutely fantastic film. So cool as fuck, I mean, it's just shot amazingly, the fashion, everything about it is just super cool. Highly recommend that one. Bride of Reanimator. Burnt Offerings, which um, I've been dying to see for ages. For some reason, I never got around to watching it, and I really enjoyed it. Cal Tiki. The Immortal Monster, which was fun. Like a blob ripoff. And there's the yeah, brilliant Carrie. Um, cat fight which um, I watched the trailer and the scene from that wasn't actually in the film but I did enjoy it some cool fights in that cemetery without crosses another spaghetti western there children of the corn there this is the region one and that should be with my slip covers so I'll stick that over there the amazing chud another region one release there City of the Living Dead, say no more. Class of Newcomb High, good film. The wife hates it. Coffee, great black flotation film there. Never Roy Schneider there. Cohen and Tate, really did like that. That kid there was fucking annoying though. Cops vs. Fugs, another great Japanese cop film there. Count Yorga collection there. Dark Blue, really, really good um, Kurt Russell movie, which I'd never seen before. There's um, Dark Water. Sorry about the glare, but it's getting dark here now. David Cronenberg, Early Works, Hit and Miss, A Day of Anger, brilliant Lee Van Cleef movie. Dead End Driving, this is an upgrade from the Aerodrome. Deadly Blessing there, great cover work there and the artwork's amazing death smiles on a murderer i found that a bit dull deep red classic the amazing demons and demons 2 deranged very underrated film absolutely brilliant film that was number region one dillinger or region eight django prepare a coffin Doberman Cop, I love that film as well. Doom Asylum, which has got to be seen to be believed. And Dress to Kill, another great film. All right, let's move them out of the way. Go down to the next one. There's um, Eaten Alive, great Toby Hooper film. Eric the Conqueror, which was okay, a bit dated. The brilliant Evil Ed. Full break there. 
absolutely amazing film. Flowers in the Attic. Forbidden Zone. Absolutely crazy film that is. The brilliant Foxy Brown. Frankenhooker, which is just a class film. I love it. Frivolous Lola. There's a documentary there, Future Shock, about 2000 AD comic from the UK. This is the limited edition of Hell Comes Frog Town. And here's the re-release of Hellgate. Brilliant Hellraiser. I love the artwork as well. Really cool. I had to kill. Good fun. Oh god, Horrors of Malformed Men. This was an absolutely brilliant film. Absolutely loved it. Fucking weird as fuck. Hounds of Love. Great modern Australian film. And then there's House One. And <laughs> Mental House Two. Did enjoy that. Howling Two. It's good fun. Civil Dan and Christopher Lee. Immoral Tales. This is the American release. Incident in the Ghost Land, which is good. Inferno, which is, like everyone knows, it's one of my favourite films there. Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Island of the Death, which is fucked up. That's the upgrade. I've got the um, DVD from Arrow. JD's Revenge. Good gangster flick. Jake Speed. Autograph there. There's Kidnapped. Kill Baby Kill, which is good fun. Killer Clowns from Outer Space, just the original release. The brilliant Abel Freer's King of, King of New York with the mystical Christopher Walken. Ah, oh, the great <clears throat> Danish comedy there. Clown. Brilliant film. Night Riders, George A. Romero. Le Grand Buffet. That was a strange film. Lady Snowblood. There's Life Force with the uh, absolutely amazing artwork on it. Madhouse, another slasher I was glad to see. Madman <clears throat> as well, another cool film. Brilliant Maniac Cop. Mark of the Devil, that's a nasty film. Mask of Gun, another great Japanese film there. Absolutely brilliant. Joe Dante's Matinee. Microwave Massacre. Milano Calibro 9. It's a great, great film. Miracle Mile, which I'd never heard of. I really enjoyed. Mona Lisa. Great Bob Hoskins. Motel Hell. Fun film. Necromantic. That's the first one. Night of the Comet. Do enjoy that film. And Nightmare City. <coughs> right, sorry about that. Um, right, that's all I'll do for now. That's them, them two shelves there. Um, but yeah, leave your comments below. I'm dying of first. Yeah, leave comments below. Thanks for subscribing. And it's good to see um, my old pal Zombie Bob is back again. So check him out. He's a great YouTuber. Yeah, thanks for watching. See you later. Keep it hot. Right.